Hello friends, in previous sections, we have seen the chart transformation and Florida's identities for my filter design at microwave frequencies. In this video lecture, we are going to solve a problem on low pass filter design using stuff. So this is a problem design a low pass filter for fabrication using micro strip line. The cutoff frequency is 4 gigahertz, impedance 50 ohm. It is a third order 3 dB equal ripple pass band response. See the answer. So first we write a given data which has given in our book problem. So first is our aim is to design low pass filter uh, using microstrip line cutoff frequency of C. It is equal to 4 gigahertz. Impedance R0 equal to 50 ohm. Third order N equal to 3. And it is a 3 dB equal ripple type of filter. 3 dB equal uh, ripple filter. Now, in a step one, we will design a low pass filter prototype with lumped components. So, First, our aim is to select the number components for low pass filter prototype. Already, we have solved such a type of problem at the time of designing butterfly filter as well as a sebaceous filter. We are taking the reference of uh, these filters design. So, we select these number components with the help of a table. In the table, they have given the values of uh, all the coefficients for uh, n equal to 1 to 10 order. So, g0 equal to 1, omega c equal to 1. So, these are normalized uh, frequency and the uh, impedance. So, they have designed for a 3 dB. In the problem, they have mentioned n equal to 3. We select uh, this row of n equal to 3, which has uh, four components they have given. So, first I write g0 equal to 1, taken g1 equal to 3.3487, g2. 0.717, G3, 3.3487, and G4, it is equal to 1. These are filter coefficients of low pass filter. Now, in step two, we design low pass filter for type using lumped components. So, as per previous, for n equal to 3, it required three reactive components. So, first L1, second is a capacitor C2, second component, and third lump component is an inductor, which is given value 3.3487. This is a source resistance and this is a load resistance. So, it is a low pass filter prototype design using lambda components. You know that it is useful for a low frequency, but these components are not feasible for a micro frequency. For micro frequency, we go for a, a stop. So, how do we get a stir? We get a stir by using a richer transformation. We know that inductor is represented with the help of a short circuit stir 
and uh, uh, this capacitor uh, represents by a open circuit stops. So here this inductor is represented by shunt circuit uh, stop circuit stop and capacitor is represented by open circuit stop. Then what is the value of uh, this uh, short circuit stop? The value is Z0 equal to L. So because of this, L value is 3.3487. So the impedance of this uh, short circuit stop is 3.3487. Same as here, it is 3.3487. Open circuit stop uh, impedance Z0, we calculate this z0 equal to 1 by c you put c value here 1 by 0 0.7117 then you get 1.40 so this is z0 impedance of uh, open circuit stub is a 1.404 and the length of uh, uh, this stub this is the length l length of this stub is a lambda by a and it is it has designed as omega equal to 1. So this is a Richards transformation. Now we add uh, extra each elements at the end of the filter. So this is a, uh, these are extra elements added at the starting and the end of the filter, which has impedance z0 equal to 1. Now we use the Rodolf identities. So this is uh, this is designed using a Richard transformation uh, to get proper designing. We use the Rodolf identities. Here we already have studied the Rodolf identities. We take here first Rodolf identities. What we did in that part. The first is a capacitor, then next is a element, this is a unit element, this is a unit element, I said, I said this is 1 upon Z2, Z1. How do you convert into uh, Prodas identity? We convert first unit element. Okay, this is the induction. It is n square z1. In this part is n square z2, uh, and this part is n square z1. It is uh, Z1 and square it is a two by n square. Z1 by n square and this is Z2 by n square. This is a product identity. If you see here, here first element is unit element and second is a inductor. We want to uh, convert this uh, series stuff into the shunt stuff. So this is a representation of uh, uh, this unit element first and a top circuit stuff second. That is short circuit stuff with inductors. Now in total identity, we convert this into this figure. So how do we get this? Here divided by n square, here we multiply by n square for a both. So, how do we calculate n square? n square it is equal to 1 plus z2 by z1. 1 plus z2 by z1. So, right here, 1 plus z2 is a 1 and z1 is a 3.3487. We calculate this we get the value 1.299. Now we multiply by this uh, Z0 by n square and this 3.3487 multiplied by n square. Then 
you get the value. See here, first we convert this, this total part in the product identity. So first record a capacitor. Capacitor is represented by a open circuitor. So this is the open circuitor. Then next part is the unit element. So this is a unit element. This section. So this is a section. Convert it into the open circuitor. And this is the unit element. What is the value of uh, impedance of open circuit? So as per already say, this is impedance 1, 1 multiplied by n square 1.299. So this is the value 1.299. And uh, what is the Z0 value? So this is second, the 3.3487 multiplied by 1.299, you get 4.350. Same part. See here, uh, this is a uh, uh, open circuit. I keep it as is a open circuit with impedance 1.405. Same part, we convert this. We convert uh, this. Uh, there is a uh, inductor. A is converted into the capacitor. So, how we convert this by a open circuit? This is open circuit. Same thing, we multiply 3.3 by 1.299. Get this value, and uh, this is the impedance of open circuit. Structure. So, this is a Kuradal identity representation. So, that we keep a artificial distance between the two stars. Next is a filter transformation. Now, in the previous part, we have applied Richard transformation and a Kuradal identity. So, this is a resultant uh, circuit of uh, filter using uh, both techniques. Now, next part, it is a low pass, it is a low pass filter prototype. Now, what is our aim? Our aim is to convert this low pass filter prototype into a desired low pass filter. Convert into desired low pass filter. Meaning is that this low pass prototype filter is designed at omega 1. Now, for desired low pass filter, we design filter at 4 gigahertz. So, it is possible by using impedance and frequency scaling. Impedance and frequency scaling. What do you do in impedance scaling? In impedance scaling, we multiply it by a R0. Multiply impedance, impedance by R0. What is R0 value? R0 it is equal to 50 ohm. So the one thing, you multiply this one by 50, you get a 50 ohm. Same part, you multiply 4.350 will get a value 217.5, then 1.2499 multiplied by 50 will get a 64.9 ohm. Same thing, you multiply each impedances by a 50 ohm, then you will get a, a real low pass filter. So, it is the impedance scaling. For frequency scaling, you replace omega by omega by omega C. Next, this is the design and fabrication of actual low pass filter. So, obviously, it is a source resistance. First term with impedance. This is the unit element. Then, a second term. This is a third term. So, D represents the design and fabrication of actual low pass filter. Thus, we we'll saw or we design any type of a filter at a micro frequency by following these steps. Thank you.